Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at advanced audio techniques inside Final Cut Pro 10. It's been said that the best way to improve your picture is to improve your sound, and what I want to do today is to show you a variety of ways that we can work with audio inside the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10. Today, we'll look at preferences that affect audio and how to match audio characteristics between clips. I'll give you some audio editing tips, including subframe audio editing. We'll talk about audio fades and how to change the fade shapes, provide new ways to work with multi-channel audio, an overview of surround sound panning, and how to work with audio in multicam clips. And we'll wrap up with a discussion of how to repair audio using audio enhancements. Another no. technique that we've got inside Final Cut is the ability to match audio. <laughs> For instance, if we listen to this clip, this is microphone one. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent recorded on different days using different mics to sound the same. Now I took the same script but a different microphone and it sounds like this. This is microphone two. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent. Not the same sound at all. Same words but not the same sound. Let's show you how to match the audio. If we select the clip whose audio we want to match, go to this magic wand thing here and notice it says match audio pops up a dialog. It says, choose the clip that has the audio you want to match. It's this one. I'll click here. It says, apply the match. What it's just done is it's copied the sonic characteristics, the frequency response of the first clip and applied it to the second clip. Take a listen. This is microphone one. One of our key audio challenges is, okay, now let's listen to microphone two. This is microphone two. One of our key audio... Notice that it's no longer thin and weak. It's got the same rich warm tone as the first. Now the levels are not the same. Matching audio does not match audio levels, but it, it does match the audio characteristics. Now those of you who are really paying attention are going to say, Larry, what happened to the waveforms here? Notice here that I've got this set to pictures. Let's just set this back to waveforms and now we can see the waveforms. So let's just pull this level up just a bit. And so we manually adjust the level, but from a sonic point of view, match audio will match the frequencies. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent. Go to clip two. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent. And notice that now the microphones sound like they were recorded on the same mic by the same person on the same day. Audio levels you set manually. Matching the sonic characteristics, the EQ, can be done automatically. Well, let's take a look at some other stuff here. This is a clip of Dr. Surf. Teaching is a problem-solving activity. We learn by solving problems. We learn faster by example than we learn by having somebody give us some rote uh, procedure. The, the best way for anyone to get excited and enthusiastic about learning something is to see somebody else solve a problem and then find a way to apply that solution to their problems. Okay, cool, except I want to take out this middle clip. So I'm going to take out this middle clip, and now the juxtaposition sounds like this. By solving problems. The, the best way for anyone to get it. Right, except he's got a, a stutter. The, the best. So I'm going to trim this in. Just a little bit here and trim that in a little bit over here. By solving problems. The best way for anyone to... Now, there is a jump cut in a video, and I would normally cover that with B-roll. We're going to pretend that we're just focusing on the audio edit, dropping in B-roll to cover the edit is simple. But for right now, let's just concentrate on this audio edit for a second. We learn by solving problems. The best way for anyone to get... All right, now that's not bad, and but it'd be kind of nice if I had a little bit more of a pause sort of a little bit more breathing room between the end of the first sentence and the start of the second. The problem is if I select the arrow tool and drag this over, the magnetic timeline doesn't allow me to put a pause in. Our best friend here is a tool that you may not be totally comfortable with, which is called the position tool. I'm going to select the position tool. When the position tool is selected, keyboard shortcut is the letter P, and I grab this clip when I let go, notice that it doesn't snap back. Instead, Final Cut puts a gap in here. We learn by solving problems. The best way for... And the amount of the gap is simply based upon how much I drag that clip back and forth. 
so I could put in as long a pause as I want. Solving problems. The best way for... Now, there is a dropout in room tone, and I've got a, a clip of him with room tone here. Let's just set an in, set an out, and we'll do this as a connected clip. Oh, here's a cool thing. Watch this. Put this as a connected clip. See this little downward pointing arrow? I just want to edit this as audio only. So I click the downward pointing arrow to make that audio only. Type that as a connected clip, and now I lay in room tone. Pull that up with the same level of everything else. We learn by solving problems. The best way... So I've got the room tone in here. A little bit of a fabric rustle. We'll get rid of that. To cover the gap, the position tool allows me to drag clips around. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at advanced audio inside Final Cut Pro 10. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you a lot of money. Access all of our training videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. More than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week and for more information visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. For the complete version of this online training please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store and look for webinar 97.